welcome back. Thanks for watching our videos and we're really, really happy that you're getting involved and engaged in all of this. So we're gonna start off with a check-in. So put your hand up if you've been doing your communion homework and sending it in. Good job, I've seen some of it, good job. And put your hand up if you've been practicing the form for confession. Good work. Um, put your hand up if you've been eating a lot of snacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and put your hand up if you still have some toilet paper left in your house. <laughs> okay. All right, so as always, we're going to start our class with our prayer. So why don't you join us? Amen. Dzień dobry, Panie Jezu, ten dzień chcę oddać Tobie. Proszę Cię, pobłogosław to, co myślę, mówię i robię. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, boys and girls, let's have a seat. It looks like we have a couple new faces today. So today's topic is the Ten Commandments. You can find it in your book on page 63. Now, at the end of the lesson, if you could go down to the video description and click on the link, that you'll see a short film about how it all started with Moses and the people in the desert because today we're just going to focus on the Ten Commandments themselves. The first commandment, you shall have no other gods. This means that God is our priority, not sports, not money, not video games, or our favorite toys. God is number one. The second commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord, your God, in vain. This means that we don't use words like, oh my God, or oh Jesus in everyday speech. We can use them when we pray. So for example, if you want to say, oh my God, please help me at school, or oh Jesus, thank you for my family. The third commandment, you shall keep the Lord's day holy. This means that Sunday is reserved for Jesus. We come to church to meet him. We don't pretend to be sick or play video games all day. The fourth commandment, Honor your mother and your father. This means that we respect the people who love and care for us, like our parents, our grandparents, and even our teachers. The fifth commandment, you shall not kill. This means that you don't kill people, animals, nature, but also you don't hurt people with your words, like saying things like, I hate you, or you're not my friend. The sixth commandment, you shall not commit adultery. The seventh commandment, you shall not steal. These two are a little bit similar. These two are similar because they deal with taking away people and taking away things. So for example, in the sixth commandment, you don't break up relationships or friendships. And in the seventh commandment, you don't take what is not yours without asking. The eighth commandment, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. This means that you don't gossip or spread rumors about others. So for example, you don't say things like, did you know, or I heard that. The ninth commandment, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. The 10th commandment, you shall not covet your neighbor's things. These two are a little bit similar. These two are similar because they both deal with jealousy. Number nine is about not being jealous about other people and their relationship. And number 10 is about not being jealous about other people's things. Come on and let's say it all together. One, you shall have no other gods. Two, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Three, you shall keep the Lord's day holy. Four, honor your mother and your father. Five, 
You shall not kill. Six. You shall not commit adultery. Seven. You shall not steal. Eight. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Nine. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. 10. You shall not covet your neighbor's things. Now for today's homework. Wait, what, we have homework? No. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> um, you can turn in your books to page 64. Or 65. Mm -hmm. And complete the crossword puzzle in English or in Polish. But also don't forget to take a picture of your finished work and then send it to communioncolba at gmail.com. Thank you to those of you who have already sent it. We love seeing your work. Smarties, we hope you guys are practicing your prayers. And in the meantime, if you have some questions that you wanna ask us or Father Pavel, you can email them to communioncolba at gmail.com. We miss you. We're sending you guys a virtual hug and air high five. And a social distancing props. <laughs>